Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is Vlogmas Day 1, and we are going to be reviewing the ColourPop and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer collection. I am so, so excited. This is such an adorable collection. Like, oh my gosh, I loved this movie growing up and I am so excited to finally be reviewing it. If you're new here, hi, my name's Anna. I upload five days a week, Monday through Friday, but for the month of December, I'm gonna be uploading all 31 days, and it's gonna be a lot, but that's the spirit of Vlogmas. All right, we're gonna go ahead and just kinda get right into it. I feel like this might be a little bit of a longer video. So um, I did not purchase like the entire collection. I only purchased a little bit of it because I am reviewing a lot this month. <laughs> so uh, the items I did pick up here were, of course, the palette. I put everything back in the original packaging because it's so cute. So this is what it looks like here. This is just the Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer eyeshadow palette. I also picked up both lip duos. I have the There's Always Tomorrow, which is the Rudolph one, and then the I Think You're Cute, which is the Clarice one. I also picked up the Rudolph, obviously, uh, Soul Body Shimmering Body Powder, which, which, fun fact, is just a Super Shock highlighter, so just letting you know there. And then finally, I picked up the couple of Misfits Luxe Gloss Trio. I have not tried, I think I've only tried like one or two Luxe Glosses from ColourPop, so really excited to try these out. On the website, I have this up on my computer right now. The things I did not pick up were um, the Mood Melt, which is like a, a bath melt, um, the Lip Scrub, Lip Mask, and the Reindeer Hair Clips. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I was kind of like being a little more selective because I am reviewing a lot this month. And I just wanted to think more like, okay, like what would I use? And I'm not, someone who uses a lot of lip scrubs to be quite honest with you so i decided to skip on those i don't really take a lot of baths so the body melt like the soul mood melt thing would just not have worked for me and the hair clips while they are absolutely adorable i just would not have gotten much use out of them okay we're gonna kind of zoom on up and we're gonna talk about every single product we're gonna try it on and i'm gonna show you how they look okay this first one here we're gonna try out i did my full face except for everything that needs to be done here. Let's talk about this shimmering body powder. Now, I was kind of like, I saw it online and I thought it just looked like a super shock highlighter. It really pretty much is. This is in the shade Jingle Jingle Jingle. And this retails for $12. Love the packaging on it, very uh, holiday themed. It's very on theme with the collection. It's super cute. And this is a little bit more of like a pinky peachy highlighter which I wasn't originally like expecting. It looks a little more cool tone on the website. Yeah, this swatch looks super duper pretty though. So I am just gonna take a highlighter brush and I'm going to, well, let's pick this off of the mirror here because I still have the plastic thing on the mirror. That's like the most satisfying thing ever. This is called, this is like called a mini. I have super shock shadows. I have super shock highlighters from ColourPop that are a lot bigger than this. So I don't really know why they're calling it a shimmering body powder, but ooh, that's super pretty. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Very shiny. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, this is very nice. I really like the Super Shock sh um, highlighters. I keep on saying shadows, but no, this is really nice. It's also a nicer size. Like, is a Super Shock highlighter. I got this last year. So like, look at the difference. I think these were about the same price too. But yeah, these are the highlighters. And I'm glad that these this is kind of smaller, but I wish this was like more like eight bucks because it might be more worth it. Now, I would like to try on the lips first like individually for you. So I purchased both of the lip duos and on the website, I think it was, they're either $16 each or they're 30 for the two of them. So let's start out with the Clarice one, which is that I think you're cute. And in a lip duo, it comes with a lip, luxe lipstick and a lippy pencil. And I just wanna show you guys, look at this packaging. Like this lipstick is so cute. It's like glittery red. Now the Clarice one is the nude and it has snowflakes. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it is so cute. And this is just in the shade Clarice. And we also have the 
lip liner. As you can see, it's such beautiful, beautiful packaging. Same Clarisse shade. So I'm probably gonna not use the lip liner for now because we're gonna do some lip swatches and stuff. The Lux lip formula is literally so good. Very creamy. Very nice nude too. I'm not usually like, I don't use like a ton of lip liner all the time. So I, I would use, I will use both of these, but just letting you know. So yeah, this is really nice. I think this formula is really great. Um, this is the Rudolph one. So it's called There's Always Tomorrow. Super cute. And this is the red one. Now, as you can see in this watch here, it's a little deeper than I had originally anticipated. So I was kind of anticipating it to be a more classic red. This is more of a wine, a nice red wine kind of color. So yeah, I was a little disappointed in it when I kind of saw it, but even on the website, I was like, what? Cause I thought it'd be more red, but that's okay. So I'm gonna kind of skip the li liner again. Of course, they're the same color. This color is really pretty on the lips though. There we go. Not the most perfect application of mine, but still really pretty. Okay, next I have the Luxe Gloss Trio. This retails for $24 and it has a $27 full value, but they did not sell these individually. So in the swatches, as you can tell, they are a little sheer. They We have three shades. So this kind of more whitish one is called Hermy, and then this red one is called Dolly, and then we have this more like kind of corally peachy one called Misfit Elephant. I think these are going to be great toppers for the lipsticks. And look at the packaging! Oh my gosh! So let's go ahead and try on Hermy here. Has a nice kind of like sweet mint kind of scent. Pretty much a clear. This does have a little bit of like a purpley pink reflect. You can't really tell too much on the lips. Totally fine though. Okay, let's try the shade Dolly here. I feel like this will be really pretty on top of the Rudolph lipstick. But again, it's pretty sheer. You can see like a little bit of a red tint, but it's not too evident. These are a little bit more of thicker glosses too. Just letting you know. Okay, let's try on Misfit Elephant, which actually is one of my favorite characters pretty much sheer. <laughs> so these are super pretty though. I am really excited to kind of figure out, you know, what kind of look I'm doing and going from there. Let's go into like kind of like the main item of the collection, which is the Rudolph Threadnose Reindeer Shadow Palette. It retails for $24. And when I saw it, it really like the size and like the design really reminded me of the Malibu Barbie palette, which if you want comparisons, they are the same size. Same kind of layout here. ColourPop is a little more expensive when it does come to their collaborations, so good to keep that in mind. But in here, we have 15 colors. Now all these colors are supposed to be kind of based off the original movie. This is so pretty. This is a really nice palette for holiday if you don't want something like super bright and crazy and colorful, but you also don't want something, you know, too basic neutral. I think this is so pretty. So let's kind of go through the shades here. We have North Pole, Mush Mush, Independent Together, Eat Eat, Lots of Tinsel, Elf Practice, Misfit Toys, Handsome Nose, Snow Bank, Little Buck, Christmassy Time, Gadzooks, Up Up and Away, Full Power, and Ready Santa. Super cute, okay? Um, we're gonna zoom up here, we're gonna do a full look, yeah, and then we're gonna put on some lips and we're gonna see kind of up close and personal how it works. I have very chapped lips right now. I ha have had them for the past couple of days and it's really been bothering me. I'm trying on all those lip products was not fun <laughs> for my lips anyways, but I have so much makeup to review you guys. It's crazy. Okay, so I kind of want to do something a little bit red, like warm tone up on the upper lash line and some green on the lower lash line, um, just to kind of use as many colors as possible. So we're first going to go into Eat Eat, which is right here. And can I just say, this mirror is adorable. Like, look at you, Rudolph and Clarice. Ugh, look at that. I really like how they kind of just went all in. Like, here's the back with all the shade names. Like, this is adorable. 
I think they did a really, really nice job with the packaging. I think they usually do a good job with the packaging. So hats off to them. Let's go ahead, buff this in. Also, I just wanted to say you can use like coupon codes and stuff for like 10% off. Um, I usually use trend moods and it's been kind of helpful, you know, like I've been ordering a lot lately. Just letting you know, even on collaborations, they aren't, you can still use a code. I don't really know any influencer who has a code with ColourPop to be quite honest with you, but I always just see trend moods, Instagram posts, and she always posts her code and that's the only code I know for ColourPop. So if you know a different code for ColourPop, um, let me know. Like, I would love to see something similar to Adopt Love, which is one of the Morphe codes that goes towards, like, the, um, towards, like, the United States Animal Shelter, I think it is. So if you know of any good ColourPop codes that help support somebody, let me know in the comments down below. Now, I kind of want to go a little bit deeper here. We're going to go into Little Buck right here. I'm going to kind of pat that on, and I am going to go into some red. We just, I just kind of want to set up our situation here i am so excited to finally be doing vlogmas because last year i physically like did not have the time i was like like having finals for school and i was so stressed and i could barely upload my regular five days a week let alone seven okay um okay so we have this beautiful like deep cranberry shade called full power and i would love to use that like on the very outer portion of the eye so I'm going to take this brush here. Oh, that's deep. Okay, I'm going to have to blend that out a little bit because this is like intense. It always kind of like worries me when I have these like really deep shades on my legs. I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope they blend out okay because sometimes deeper shades like this don't blend out. And I have experienced that firsthand. Pop is like one of my favorite eyeshadow formulas. So I have no doubt in their ability to blend and stuff. I just get nervous, you know? And I'm going to kind of like bring it up just a little bit here. Now I want to add a little bit more color. So I'm going to go into Independent Together, which is this more pinky shade right here. So I'm going to kind of add it right up in here. I am getting some fallout, maybe you can see right here. Honestly, fallout's pretty normal, but this palette is so pretty so far and it's really blending out nicely. One complaint I do have right here is that we don't have like a nice kind of satiny matte cream shade for the highlight. No. You guys do see that? You're joking. God, my fallout literally smeared. Oh, okay, so a good trick I have is to take this like a matte kind of creamy shade like this or like any like setting powder and you can take like a firm brush and just kind of pat and cover it up. You're joking me. I swear this stuff like literally always happens to me. Here we go. <laughs> okay, we're back. <laughs> um, let's go into Christmassy time, which is this really deep green. And I'm just gonna take like a pencil brush. Oh my gosh. This is a lot. Oh my gosh. So we're just going to kind of blend right in here. And this is actually really diffusing out nicely, but like with these deeper shades, just tap off your brush and you're going to be good to go. I'm kind of glad that it's a little bit more blended out. Pretty. I really want to go into this light green shade. I really like green eyeshadow in general. So this is the shade Elf Practice. So cute. And I'm going to take, let's see little pencil brush here just gonna kind of load up my brush and kind of highlight down in here just so that my eyes don't look too dark I don't like that look at all there we go okay next for the lid I don't really know what direction I want to go I really like the shade misfit toys this is it's really like kind of drawing me in but I feel like it's a little cool tone for my look I feel like I should just go for it you know what, I should just go for it. So, so pretty. I love this palette, you guys. Holy cow. So we're gonna take the shade North Pole, which is the lightest shade in the palette. 
and I just want to kind of highlight the inner corner. Now, I prefer to like highlight with a more matte shade and not so much like a glittery metallic like this one. There we go. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Wow. Okay. All right. So we are going to do lips now and then I'm going to do um, a little montage of liner and lashes and then we'll be back. But I'm kind of leaning more towards the neutral one, Clarice, and I'm going to do the lip liner and lipstick because why the heck not? Their lip liners are super creamy though. Sometimes I don't even know what the point of lip liner is. I don't know. I just feel like it sometimes it's like a wasted step in makeup. But let's just go ahead, go into the lipstick. This color is beautiful. It also would be pretty to kind of like highlight the center of the lips when you have maybe a more deeper lip on. So I think I'm going to take the shade Dolly, which is the more red one for the Luxe Lip Gloss Trio. It smells really good. And because I feel a little washed out, not going to lie, but let's kind of put on some gloss here. See if that maybe halts a little. It very well might not, but... Mm, it didn't help out too much. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and do liner and lashes and I will be back for final thoughts. This is the final look. I'm in love with it. So we're gonna kind of go through the products. Kind of do a little recap of overall what I recommend and maybe would you skip it? Would you not? Let's talk about it. So first we used the um, Shimmering Body Powder. This I see more of a highlight. Now I'm looking on the website like right now, the picture is a little deceiving and it does look a little more champagne-y in the, pa in the picture online versus this more peachy kind of pinky look just a heads up i do like the super shock highlighter formula and i am gonna get used out of this but i do wish it was more like the picture that we see on the website now these two lip duos um they are pretty true to color online i think the formula is fantastic i love the color pop lipstick formula and the liner formula i just wish that the rudolph lipstick was a little more the the nose like rudolph's nose red that's what the kind of red i was kind of hoping for but that's totally fine i do really like the colors of it and i think it's super pretty the luxe lip glosses i'm a little disappointed with in the fact that they are a little more sheer than i would have like wanted them to be but they do add a little bit of like sheen and reflect on the lips and i really like that they are really really pretty but don't expect to get like this color or like this color on your lips because they are more of like that lip topper type thing. They are a little bit more of a thicker gloss. So if you aren't a fan of that, you might not like this formula. And then the palette, I really like this. I like everything in the collection. I think the one thing I'm a little disappointed with are the Luxe lip glosses, but I still like them. But the palette, let me just say, the palette is absolutely adorable. It is so nice. I love the look I came up with. You can create a wonderful neutral eye or you can create something so, you know, more holiday vibes, more red, more green. And that's what I love about it. So I definitely think this collection is worth it. I think you should pick it up. And maybe if you are looking for um, a gift idea for a makeup lover in your life, I think that this would be a really nice collection, something that, you know, is really nice and thought out and whatnot. So yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Vlogmas video. Bye!